Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will present you how you can take the data from the component controller in a web UI component and how you can navigate from a view to another view. Ok, let's go. Here we need to create a view. Ok, we, we follow the wizard, we specify that it is the tree view. Ok. We don't have any busy subject layer repository uh, object, and for this we choose a value node. We specify, for example, table, model attribute we don't have, and this one we say that it's name. Okay, we go back. We specify it's a formula review, or we can specify it is a table view, configurable. We go back and we press finish. Now we have the view here, but we also need to define a button in the first view. We click, we go to the HTM page, and here we go in the edit mode, we copy this tag. We specify that on click will be implemented the event handler nav1 ok go to third ok we activate and we go back to create the event handler in the event handler we create the method nav1 ok but if we want to navigate from a view to another view we also need to create an outbound plug to third Ok, now we need to go to the Love Runtime Repository and to embed in the window the third view, we need to be in Edit Mode. Ok, and now we insert the view. The view, the third view. Ok, and we press Ok. And now what we need to do is just to create a navigation link. For example, nav if we have nav1, nav and nav1, then we will put navigation2 and here we specify from the first view through the two-third outbound plug we navigate to the three view and the import plug it is default ok now we have the navigation link created we just need to go to our event handler and to specify it here this piece of code, we activate everything, now we also need to go to the third view and we need to create a configuration from th for this view this is a table view and for this we need to go in the edit mode to select the column from here and to put it in the right part, here we can give a name of the column name and we save Now we need just to save everything and now we can test our application to see the result. We are on the third view. Let's go back to the code and now we see that if we go to the component structure browser we see that in the component controller we have this node table with this attribute name. And uh, suppose we make some clicks and we fill this node with data. And in the third view we override the doing it context method and we want to take the value from the node for this we need to go here and to write some code let's also make a button to the third view and also an outbound plug start ok we go to the you start to copy the htm Put the button. Okay, we specify it. Then, okay, go to start. Now we need to add the event handler nav1 here. Oh, 
also to copy this code from the method. We put here nf3. We go to the left side repository. We create a new nav3 from the third view <coughs> to the start. Okay, we go to the view start and we specify default. We press OK. Now we go to test this button and we can see that if we go to the we see that we are in the third view and we can go back to the first view. Okay, now let's see how we take the data from the first view. This is the code from taking the data from the component controller through this attribute of this class because we are here and we are in the current class. From this instance we take the model, okay, then we make a downcast because we want to go to the specific control node class which is this one which is this one and because of this we done we make this downcast and then we make a do because we want to take our elements from the component controller we suppose it is that it is a table here and because of this, if it's the first time we take the current, if not, we take the next to move to the next object, we take the property and then we append it to a table. And this is pretty much all. Okay, thank you very much and if you have any question, you can subscribe me here. Have a nice day, bye.